Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy. Welcome back to another video on the channel. We're trying out another Icon Swaps card, obviously taking the day off of streaming. And I think I've got a good balance of like, because we've been streaming more this year, we're doing like six, seven, eight hour streams. I think I'm trying to do those like five to six days a week instead of six to seven. And then on the off days, you know, it's a lot easier for me to get these reviews done. These are very easy for me to do. Uh, and they're fun. And I'm not saying it's easy work, but it's, it's fun to try out these cards that I wouldn't always try in a way and then you guys support as well another big apology the shirt i'm wearing is going to drive some of you guys crazy i'm sorry i know it's a little bit trippy apologies man you guys are gonna have to deal with it it's gonna i know it for some of you guys you're gonna be like oh my god nick it's ridiculous all right sorry guys now anyways guys we're gonna try out middle gerard today that's who we're gonna be trying out 89 rated gerard he costs about 850k on the market so he's very expensive um but looks pretty good man honestly looks like a good card um, chemistry style wise, we're obviously using my mods again. He's already played eight games with him. He's got eight goals. Um, chemistry style wise, I'm not really sure if I would play Hunter. Looking at the card in game, I mean, he's he's suited as more of a box to box midfielder with the the high high work rates is a really good way to kind of determine that. It's a really good combination of work rates um, to be a box to box midfielder. So I think I look at this card initially and see that yeah, yeah, box to box midfielder would be probably like the best way you could use this card. Um, in my opinion So yeah, I think I think that's what we're gonna try him out as today We're gonna use him in a 352 now Gerard guys cost you a fair not a fair bit But a decent amount in the icon swaps. It's not an easy Unlock he's he's definitely a few bit of tokens. I think he's like 17. We gotta we gotta scroll over here We gotta see what's going on. So he cost. Oh wow. He is he is a uh, wait. No way He's actually 19 tokens. Wow. Okay, so this is a big guy man. I mean we got to compare him here Basically to the likes of uh, Butragueño and then maybe like some of these other guys. I mean, that's that's a very top tier icon in my opinion. So yeah, that, that's def definitely an interesting one. And he's going to cost you a little bit. So let's look a little bit more at the end games and talk about him before we play with him and, and try him out. And I'll give you guys the, the gist so far. Now, guys, just if you're tuning into this video, the best cards that I've used so far in terms of like we're always comparing token value, you know, value for things. So far, I've really liked Pep Guardiola. Um, and I've really liked Crespo and Butchergueno. I was not big on Drogba. Balak was decent as well. So we gave Balak a 9 as well. Balak and Pep are really good options. I guess at the end of the day, a lot of your selection depends on what you need for your club. Certain links, certain certain players that you like more than other players. I think at the end of the day, it does really come down to a lot of that kind of stuff. So you guys just kind of go got to go out and figure it out. So looking at some of the in-games, Footpin, obviously, is Footpin. Okay, Footpin is down. I was trying to pull up for you guys. Uh, Steven Gerrard's in-game stats. Maybe if I pull up his 86, it'll work. Um, no, it's unavailable. So Flippin's unavailable. But three-star, three-star, that's not the best. He is six feet tall, which is very nice. He's high-high as well. He's got 80 pace, 86 shooting, 88 passing, 84 dribbling, 75 defending, and 80 physical. Now, some will argue that this is Gerrard's best version um, out of any of his versions. So I can get along and understand that, that people could think that. Um, it is a really good-looking card. And then in the in-games, he's got 78 acceleration, 81 sprint speed, which is really decent. His attack positioning and finishing is really good as well. And that's kind of a lot of the time why people do want to, you know, use him a little bit at cam. He's also got 91 short passing and 93 long passing. He's got 88 shot power, 91 long shots. I'm actually thinking about using this guy as a cam. Now that I'm looking at him, I mean, maybe he's a, maybe we could try him at cam. I mean, I know that if I were to put him in my squad, I would definitely use him as a left or a right center mid in a 4 one 2 and 2 But like for the sake of the video, maybe we'll try him out as cam and we'll test his finishing and his passing and things like that. I know for me, a high, high work rate player is perfect for a left or a right center mid or even a secondary CDM, right? Because you want to have one medium high and one high high. So that's not a bad look. And he's got the only downside is that he's got 75 agility and then he's got 71 balance. So that's not the best there. 87 reactions, 90 ball control. Very good. Not 83 dribbling, 81 composure. So you wonder like, could the, could the reactions and could the ball control maybe help out and compensate a little bit for the low agility and the low balance. And he's also got very good defensive stats. And that's kind of why you do want to play him as a left or right center mid because yeah, his defending is really, really solid. So I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll play a little bit with him at camp. We'll play a little, a little bit with him at center mid. I'll be able to give you guys my opinions on, you know, uh, all of that. Now, the way I rate these cards, guys, is based on their token value. So I'm, I'm rating these cards out of 10, and I'm trying to give you guys what I feel like. Like, Drogba did not rate that highly compared to the others because he's just a lot of tokens, and compared to the others, he wasn't as good. So we're going to be very critical with this card today. I think for the sake of if I am going to play him as a camp, then we'll leave the hunter on him. Um, just to kind of boost the shooting and the uh, and the pace, but it's been a fun Scott. It's been this has been a fun team to use, man. Because there's like there's just players in this team that I wouldn't always use, which makes these reviews a lot more fun. 
So, uh, yeah, Gerard will be up top with Bernard and, and Walcott. And we'll start off in the 3-5-2 in that way, um, where we will play him as the cam um, with Walcott and Bernard. And I think game two, what we'll do is then we'll move, uh, we'll move, you know, game two or maybe in the middle of the game, we'll move uh, Erickson to cam. And, you know, because Erickson can play center mid as well. We'll move Erickson to cam. We'll try him out. So Gerard will keep on stay forward because he is a high high. Um, so it means even on stay forward, he's going to track back. And then that's the tactics, man. We got get in behind for the two guys up top. And then obviously, if you guys enjoyed the video today, just the thumbs up does help out. And uh, again, other players you guys would like to see in the comments down below. I do understand that a lot of you guys at the moment um, are looking to... You guys are... I know a lot of you guys at the moment are looking to uh, the lower ones to, for me to try out. So I do think I've seen a lot of that and I've heard it. And I think what I'm going to do for you guys is I will try out some of the lower tier cards. Because I understand and I'm hearing that you guys want to know about Carlos. You guys want to know about some of these players. And so I'm going to try out those ones earlier this week so I can get those out to you. So you guys know if you should be selecting them or not. Because um, I was surprised by Pep and I was not... I really was not expecting Pep to be that good. So Pep was pretty good. And so I think I'm going to be in for a surprise with some of those cards. So we will try out some of those guys on the channel. First opponent, not a great squad. Let's see what damage we can do. Nice pass. Can we get a finish? Wow, what a run. And, and I think the thing that I'm really curious about with him today is I'm not using a chemistry style to boost his agility and balance. So I want to see how does this card feel without an engine, without a chemistry style that's going to boost that. And uh, an amazing display so far. Very nice. And I do have good gameplay right now, which is really helping out this game. My gameplay is really crisp. It's really solid. The players are moving right. So it's going to be a really good opportunity to see how he feels. I think distribution, 100%. And I know that's more of a term for keepers. But his ability to pass the ball is really unique on this card. And physical showing right there. Holy moly. Oh my god, the auto block off the goal line. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Felipe Anderson, can they square the game? Wow. And it's a goal. GG, I did not think I was going to get beaten near post like that. Great. Bernard with it. Let's get a finish here. Come on, Bernard. Correctly decided to play advantage. And now with One, two. Angelino. Right back. Can he finish it? Oh, he get blocked. Can we get a finish? No. That was tight. Damn. Guys, for me, at halftime, my thoughts are he's a little stiff at cam. So I'm going to drop him back to... Uh, we're going to drop him at RCM and see how he does there. Actually, let's go left center mid. Drop, put Erickson up to cam. He's a little too stiff for the position, but... Still, I mean, not a bad card. Just stiff, I think, for that position. Oh, Bernard, let's go. Can we get a finish? No, Walcott. Erickson, the post. Ah, the post, dude. Let's go, Stevie G. Let's go. Nice interception. Bernard? Oh, what a save. Come on, Bernard. Ah, he skied the finesse. That was close. Bernard trying to take over. Oh, Ben Yedder gets the best of us, boys. Some pretty poor defending by myself that game. Or in that sequence, but let's try to get tied up and at least take the draw. What a play. Finish it. No, Bernard. That was our chance, boys. That was our chance. Stevie G. Ah, I forced it, bro. All right, guys. We take a 2-1 loss in the first game. I think Stevie G does get on the board. But... I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about him. I don't really know yet. Let's 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 play another. Let's see how he feels. Opponent number two, after a little bit of wait, and I played this guy in weekend league. <laughs> he 
He must be dropping divisions to do challenges, but we're going to try our best to take the W. All right, I like that from Gerard. Man, just took him out. It's a decent try. It's going to be tough getting past uh, these center backs, but we'll try. Gerard? Oh, he missed it wide. He missed it wide. That was a great opportunity. Let's go, Gerard. Defensive presence, even at cam, is super noticeable. Great pass. Finish that, Bernard. Let's freaking go, man. What an assist, dude. That pass was insane. Got around, around, uh, Baran. Had another great finish. Let's go. Oh, did he miss it? Or did it get blocked? It might have... oh, wow, he just missed it then. Damn. What a finish. No! Come on, Stevie G! Oh, that's a great save from Ter Stegen. Just have to get it. The thing is, I got to try to get it on his strong foot. Because he has that three-star weak foot. Good try from the corner. GG. All right, boys. So we come away with a draw in the last game. So Gerard, like Gerard, to me is okay. Um, he's nothing crazy. So I, you know, he's not a midfielder like a Hullet or like a, you know. He's similar to Balak for me, who I tried out recently. And the only issue is that Balak is way more easy to obtain within the tokens. You need five less tokens for Balak. And I really don't think they're that different, him and Gerard. Like, I feel like if I put Balak at Cam, he would have felt the same. And we even had a Hunter on Gerard too, which is like, he didn't even, he didn't feel like he was that fast with the Hunter. So for me, guys, I mean, for the value out of 10 and, and for what, for what you're going to get on that, on, you know, for the tokens, I... At 19 tokens, I mean, basically, you choosing this card means that you have to use this card. Um, you know, it's the only card that you can choose if you choose this because you use 19 tokens, you have five left over, and there's no option for five. So you really have to – this has to be your favorite player if you're going to choose him. I think for me, it's not a bad card. It's not bad. I just didn't really notice him, and I even tried to notice him, and I put him up at cam to have a little bit more action, and I, he still went invisible at times. So I do think this guy would be a really good box-to-box -box center mid. Um, for the value and up at that level, I'm going to give him like an 8 to 8.5, somewhere in that range. He's not worse than an 8, but he's just nothing that special. He wasn't that special to me. I think if he was 4-4, four, four, he'd be a lot specialer. I think for you guys, you got to use this card as just a left or right center mid. Um, you know, we tried him out for a half uh, of each game at uh, right center mid and then a half of each game at camp, so we got him both positions. He went a little bit invisible at times, but he made a few good tackles. His passing was definitely the highlight of the card. Like, if I were to tell you guys one thing that I really noticed about him was his passing. Uh, that was, like, the most visible stat that I could see with him. His passing was very strong. His finishing was okay. Um, he missed a few shots that I thought, you know, could have been on target. But, nonetheless, not a bad card, guys. Um, definitely agility and balance are a weakness. He does feel stiff. Something I didn't love about him. And you guys know what the servers this year. I think you need to really, really be careful with choosing cards that are a little bit more stiff. Like Drogba, like Balak, like Gerard, right? You got to understand, you you guys, you're at your own thing. You know, you're at your, it's at your own discretion, boys. So, just keep that in mind. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.